Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. From this video onwards, I am going to make a video series on CURD operation on real-time database Firebase. So before performing the CURD operation, first we need a database with some data so that we can perform operations on that data. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to actually create the database and how to set or store some data into that database and how to set rules so that we can actually access and update the data in our real-time database. So here you can see this, this is the data which I have previously created, but in this video, I'm going to start from the scratch. So go to the Google and here, first thing what you have to do is you have to sign in with any email ID you have. So I have signed in. After that, what I have to do is, I have to search for Firebase, search for this. And here you can see this, the first one is Firebase or the second one. You can click on any, just click select one. After that, what you have to do is, once you log in, you have to just click on this go to console. Just select that. If you have never created any project in this one, then you have only this one add project I've created previously three other projects. That's why it's showing these all stuff. So I'm going to click on this add new here. You have to give some name. So I'm going to name this one test project like this. Click on continue. You have to name anything continue. And I'm going to just disable this because for now I don't need these stuff. And you have to just simply click on create project. It will take few seconds and it will create the project. So it's being created. So throughout this CURD operation, I'm going to use a real time database. And what is actually this real time database? Let me just explain you click on continue and it will open this stuff. And here you can see this test project is here. And here we have real time database. So when I click on this, it will open up a dialogue like this one. And here we have the option create database. Before creating database, let me explain you a bit about what is this real-time database. So Firebase real-time database data is stored as JSON objects. This is not a relational database. It doesn't store the data in the form of tables, rows, and columns. It simply stores the data in the JSON format. So you can search on Google what is exactly the JSON format is. You can think of the database as a cloud-hosted JSON tree. There are no tables or records. When you add data to a JSON, it actually added to a JSON tree. It becomes a node in the existing JSON structure with an associated key. I will explain this. Don't worry. Don't be confused. Just follow us. So when I click on this create database, it will show like this. You have to select the United States by default. This one, no, no need to make any changes. Click on next. Select this one not this start in test mode we don't need that start in log mode click on enable now it will take few seconds and here you go now you will see an interface like this here you can see this first we have to make some changes in the rules so click on this rule by default, you cannot read the data from this one and you cannot modify it. Here you can see this read and write is false. So what we have to do is just click on this edit. Go over there. Delete this one. True. Change this one to true and this one also to true. Like this and click on publish. Now the rule is changed. Now you can actually uh, access it, modify it and other stuff you can perform. Okay. So I've changed the rule. Now move back over here to the data. And here, first thing, what we have to do is, we have to just click on this plus sign because it stores the data in the JSON format. So click on this one. And first you have to mention the tables. Suppose you uh, mention in the relation database, we have some table name. So that's why there is one root name. So I'm going to name this one teachers. And I'm going to click on plus and here, not this plus this time we have to select this one under this teacher there will be some id as i have told you that we have to this structure is associated with an id so there will be unique id so p1 will be the teacher id and this plus not this time this one 
click on this one and here will be the name of the teacher the key value pair this is a key and a value so name will be anything you can put the name j and now again other values like email this one and i'm going to name something email will be j at the rate gmail.com will be another another thing email and uh, a professor of something courses course maybe we take CSE and any subject and after this image URL suppose the teacher URL so P URL and from where I'm going to fetch the image so let me search for any Google it Google any image and move back over here just use any image I'm going to use this one not exactly okay so we can use any image without okay so I'm going to use this one right click on this and I'm going to use copy image link and I'm going to paste it over this and you have to just click on add and here you can see this we have p1 with course email name t url like this one you can add other record inside this one by clicking the plus sign again you have to add p2 then plus inside this one and the same you have to make sure that you put these ids same okay so course will be btech and cse again email something p at the rate gmail.com then name will be something puja plus and t url i'm going to put the same image over here and click on add and here you can see this t1 and t2 so by this way, we can actually add the data into this database. There is real time database. This is a JSON tree. And here we have IDs for this particular record, these particular record. This is key value pairs. And there is a different ID for this one. And this is a root that is teachers. In the same way, I'm going to use this one, not this one actually, this one, the students. So you have to create a table, a JSON file like this. And you have to modify the rules. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to actually fetch these data and show into the recycler view in Android Studio. So stay tuned, subscribe and share with your friends. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and share.